Welcome to this exciting video where I'm going to be using the power of artificial intelligence to generate a list of jokes similar to some of my favorite comedians. But before we dive into this hilarity, let's talk about the benefits and dangers of AI. On the one hand, AI can be incredibly helpful and efficient in a variety of industries, including entertainment. In fact, many comedians and comedy writers already use AI to generate jokes and punchlines. With AI, you can save time and effort by automating the creative process, allowing you to focus on the other aspects of your craft. However, there are potential dangers to consider when it comes to AI. For example, if the algorithm is not properly programmed or trained, it can produce biased or inappropriate content. Additionally, relying too heavily on AI can stifle creativity and originality, leading to a homogenized of a comedic style. Now, love it or hate it, AI is actually super useful. And I can tell you that because that entire introduction was actually written by AI. Now, you can use OpenAI for pretty much anything. Um, and as much as I've explored, I'm not entirely sold on its ability to write jokes because jokes is obviously a subjective field where you might find something funny and someone else might not. So I'm going to be asking OpenAI to give me a list of jokes for some of my favorite comedians, uh, Jimmy Carr and Ricky Gervais. And I'm going to ask it to base it on their existing jokes and to see if it can come up with its own original content. So let's see what OpenAI gave me. Now, just keep in mind, this was the first time I read anything it gave me, which was the whole point. I wanted to just be able to generate it and then like read it straight away. So I may look at my phone quite a bit in these videos and it's meant to be a bit of a joke, which is why I've got the whole green screen effect. Um, but yeah, sit back and enjoy the, uh, the jokes, which is very interesting. Thank you. Thank you all. Cheers. Cheers for coming out, lads. Thank you for coming out, ladies and gentlemen. That's a more esteemed way of saying it. Okay. All right. Sure. Here are a few one-liners of jokes that are similar to Jimmy Carr's style of humor. Let's see what AI can come up with. I've decided to sell my vacuum cleaner. It was just gathering dust. <laughs> My friend told me that onions were the only food that could make you cry. So I threw a coconut at him. I told my wife she was drawing her eyebrows on too high. She looked surprised. I saw a sign that said, watch for children. And I thought, yeah, that's a fair trade. I used to play piano by ear. Uh, now I use my hands. My friend said to me, what rhymes with orange? I said, no, it doesn't. I'm reading a book about the history of glue. I just can't seem to put it down. <laughs> My grandfather has a heart of the lion. And a lifetime ban from the zoo. <laughs> I'm not a vegetarian because I love animals. I'm a vegetarian because I hate plants. <laughs> uh, thank you all. I, I've been, um... I've been Bryce Carr. Um... Uh, thank you for listening to these absolutely horrendous jokes. Um, in actual fact, some of them were okay, I think, because this is my first time reading it, which is kind of the whole point. Um, I think there were, some of them were actually kind of funny. If, if Jimmy Carr was delivering these, I think he would have made them better. I think the eyebrow one was funny. Um, the piano one, if I delivered it better. I, I think it's just comedic timing, which I obviously don't have. Hey everyone, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Ricky. I'm, I'm Ricky. Uh, Gil, Gil Jays. Alright, sure. Here are a few jokes that are similar to Ricky Gervais' style of humour. I don't care about losing weight. I'm just sick of holding my stomach in at all times. <laughs> the best part about living in a small town is that when you don't know what you're doing, somebody else does. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, um, yeah, redefine success. <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts. But, I do believe in taxidermy. It's just animals in funny positions. <laughs> I hate weddings. Old people would poke me and say, you're next. Um, they stopped doing it when I would do it to them at funerals. <laughs> I've started running again, but it's tough because my trainer keeps throwing biscuits at me. <laughs> I told my wife she was a terrible cook. She asked me how I'd like my eggs and I told her, unfertilized. <laughs> I was going to donate blood today, but then I realized I'm not supposed to be around sharp objects. <laughs> People who use selfie sticks really need to have a long, hard, wide-angle lens look at themselves. 
I'm not a morning person and I'm not an afternoon person and to be honest, I'm not even really a person. <laughs> I'll be honest, those jokes were all shit. <laughs> um, 